Here's how the game works. Two combatants enter, only one leaves. The objective? To smush your opponent's head leading to their untimely death. This season on Super Smush Brothers, A hot battle is unfolding! Pikachu, the electric mouse Pokemon. What Pokemon will appear next? Lucario, the fighting and steel type aura Pokemon. Oh, so I should say this before we start. There's two Pikachus and two Mewtwo's. We have decided that because there's an odd number of players in this game, Shadow Mewtwo, is he's not going to be in it. We're just going to do regular Mewtwo. But Pikachu and Pikachu Libre are going to be there because they have different skill sets we feel so that being said first up we have pikachu versus lucario we should have a discussion right now about whether type advantage is gonna play into it well it doesn't in pokemon correct i think the real conversation is are we doing pokemon rules or are we doing pokemon rules well we picked these pokemon from pokemon that doesn't necessarily mean we have to follow their rules right exactly yeah i think yes i think type advantage should be yeah. in play i think regular Pokemon. Yeah. But we just happen to pick the ones from Pokemon. Right. I'm 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 quick to say Lucario. Uh, As am I. He's just got so much like Pikachu is it, it's the difference between a Gen 1 Pokemon and a Gen 4 Pokemon really because Pikachu's very powerful, yes. And he's got electricity good. But that's basically all he has. Lucario is steel and fighting mm -hmm. and he has that weird like He's, like, sort of psychic, even though he's not. It's very weird. Uh, I think Lucario wins, but I would hear an argument for Pikachu if you have one. I guess agility and ability to... It's it's ironic because ability to knock out your opponent, that's not because they're Pokemon. It's right. It's just if P Pikachu could knock him out, then he could do whatever he wants. Right. Yeah, so we think in Lucario? Yeah. I mean, well, unless you think Pikachu could knock him out, I think in the case of speed, I think they're pretty evenly matched, honestly. Okay. Then Lucario is the winner. And there goes the battle! A hot battle is unfolding! Empoleon, the water and steel type Emperor Pokemon. What Pokemon will appear next? Suicune, the legendary water type Aurora Pokemon. Empoleon is water steel, Suicune is water ice. Suicune is, of course, mm. a legendary. Not sure if that should really play a factor into this. You know what's going to play a factor into this? Yes, what? Flippers versus Paws. Yeah, that's a good point. Suicune is quadru quadrupedal. Uh, is that an advantage? Is that a disadvantage? I, well, Flippers are a disadvantage. Yeah. The goal of this game is to oh, you're right. You're and right. destroy the skull right. of your opponent. If he's steel, you can only assume he has some sort of move that can turn some a part of his body into steel. Agility probably goes to Suicune. Yeah. I'd say every every stat probably goes to Suicune because Suicune's a legendary. If Suicune freezes Empoleon solid, I think that's it right there. But if he freezes him solid, how's he going to destroy the head? Because now Empoleon is incapacitated. No, I get it. But just paint me a picture for the audience. Oh, what happens from there? Bite. You know, hyper beam. Okay. Like a close up. I feel like a close up Aurora beam or hyper beam could do it. Okay. Uh, bite or crunch, assuming that he has it because he's like a dog thing. A hot battle is unfolding. Cosplay Pikachu. Or as she's better known, Pikachu Libre. What Pokemon will appear next? Bration. The fire type fox Pokemon. What an ambitious little Pikachu. I know. I know. She's come a long way. So I think agility, speed definitely goes to Pikachu Libre. Yeah. Um, a lot of Bracian stuff is ranged. You know, Psy Beam, Fire Blast, all that stuff. That could play a role. Yeah, it could. Uh, all of Pikachu Libre's moves are, you know, up close. Parries, grapples. He really does fight like a wrestler. She. She. My bad. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean it. Here's the picture I have in my head. Okay, yeah, lay it on me. Bration creates a circle of fire around itself to try and keep Pikachu Libre out. Okay. But what Bration doesn't realize is Pikachu Libre 
is is a master of the ropes. Mm-hmm. Bounces right over the fire, <laughs> gives Bration the people's elbow through the skull. So you're thinking it, it's straight up like Bration d- uh, strategizes a plan and Pikachu Libre just kind of like surprise attacks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm down for that. I think Bration's always struck me as, as a pompous Pokemon. Mm, and I yeah. think uh, they're going to underestimate Pikachu Libre. That, yeah, that actually, yeah, that, that, that tracks with me. And there goes the battle! A hot battle is unfolding! Charizard, the flying and flying type flame Pokemon. What Pokemon will appear next? Skeptile, the grass type forest Pokemon. Uh, they can both mega evolve. And they, ooh, they can both mega evolve, and when they mega evolve, they both turn into a dragon, which is interesting. Dragon type? Yeah. Because he's just fire, he's just grass. Or he's grass. No, I think Skeptile's just grass. But when they mega evolve, which they can both do, he becomes fire dragon if he's Charizard X, which he is in Pokken. So if we had to choose one of the two, I feel like let's just choose that one. Um, And Skeptile becomes grass dragon. So not only is grass weak to fire, but dragon is notoriously weak to dragon. I think based off of the stats, and this also would have been my opinion even if they didn't Mega Evolve, even if stats weren't brought into the question, I, I think it was always going to be Charizard. Yeah, I mean, even if even if the type matchup didn't work in Charizard's favor, I feel like if we want to have a conversation about speed, I feel like Skeptile is faster, but it almost doesn't matter because Charizard can fly. Right, right. My thoughts exactly. Okay. And there goes the battle! A hot battle is unfolding! Decidueye, the grass and ghost type Aeroquill Pokemon. What Pokemon will appear next? Gardevoir, the psychic and fairy type Embrace Pokemon. Yeah, so he's grass ghost, she's psychic, so she's technically weaker, but I but she does mega evolve. She mega evolves, and I, I feel like probably a stronger fighter. It's just my... Okay. Personal, maybe my, maybe even my personal bias, but I, I have a feeling Gardevoir is a stronger opponent. Well, I will say this. When a Pokemon Mega Evolves, they basically become a legendary, stats-wise. So I feel like even though she's weak to Ghost, she's probably going to take it just based off that. I, I mean, Decisionwise is definitely going to put up a fight. He's very like He can fly, one. Two, all his moves are, like, arrow-based, like bow and arrow-based. Like, he shoots arrows at people, whether they're made out of grass or Ghost particles or whatever but i feel like gardevoir is is very defense heavy i feel like she's got like all these psychic walls and barriers and she got a lot of aoe attacks what's her ability what's her skull crushing ability Mm, um that's all that matters at the end of the day here on super smush yeah well i mean if we're if we're okay with the whole a hyper beam like attack we'll do it at close range she does have moon blast which is the Strongest fairy move. She does have Psycho Crush, which sort of, in all its animations, looks like a bunch of rocks just sort of like coming okay. towards the thing. So I feel like maybe that one. I'd and she that. could probably... They're both long range, which is cool. I feel like Decisuai... I know I say this a lot uh, in a lot of mashups, but I feel like Decisuai puts up a fight, but I feel like Gardevoir ultimately takes it. Okay. With her Mega evo- Evolutions and whatnot. And there goes the battle! 